This ape said, I noticed it says AMC is placing intermissions in some live and filmed events. I love it. Give a people a break to visit concessions a second time. Now, with the size of AMC theaters and how many movies and events they have planned over the next, say, 12 months, if they were to implement something as simple as, let's say, one more intermission on just some of the movies even or some of the live events, could you imagine how much more revenue they could perhaps make just from that alone? This is, of course, extremely bullish and could make AMC a lot more money when it's all said and done, but comment down below if you think this is good or bad. This says Evergrande shares halted after 90% slide as chairman under surveillance. The trading of debt riddled property behemoth Evergrande has been halted on the stock market exactly a month after it's relisted on the share markets. And this ape says, I wonder how much money certain hedge funds have lost with this. Now, what's crazy is that back during the early days of this entire AMC short squeeze, AMC play, whatever you really want to call it, this whole AMC movement, the Evergrande situation was just starting to happen where there was a massive, massive real estate behemoth that was under some massive trouble. And a lot of us apes really early on sort of saw the writing on the wall. And we even called out a lot of the craziness that's happened since. But I want you guys to comment down below. What do you think next is going to happen as far as a major collapse or something like the Evergrande situation? If you were to have to guess, this ape says shorts realizing now that they're up against a formidable enemy, one with unlimited time, an unbreakable conviction, exceptional research abilities, and growing reach, AMC. This ape says it's just like 2008, but this time it's synthetic stock, over leveraged firms, corruption, and complacency. And this is a picture of the cover of the big short. This ape down below said it's much, much, much worse than 2008. And it is pretty interesting because in 2008, the markets and the economy had a whole slew of problems. And although maybe those exact problems aren't necessarily what we're going through now, we have our own problems as of now, and there's quite a lot of them. But comment down below in your opinion. I want to know what you think. Is 2008, or are we right now, in a worse position? This ape says the message is the most important thing to the AMC movement. They cannot stop a dividend if we raise the capital. All we have to do is go see movies, eat popcorn, buy merch, buy soda, watch our movies on Vudu and advertise our products and services like A-List is using. And if all of that is to happen, just watch the money printer go burr. Comment down below if you are still in this play and if you believe that this is the way for AMC to reach greatness. This says PSA, if you are using Robinhood, there cannot be an outcome where you went happy. Time and time again, they show their cards. If you're using them, you will be disappointed. You will lose an opportunity at wealth. They are not on AMC side. And there have been too many canaries in the coal mine to serve any more as a warning. So this is a good topic to go over, especially from an ape like myself that actually used to use the Robinhood app. Years and years ago, when I first learned about the stock market and got involved, I downloaded the Robinhood app and bought some shares on it. Because of its ease of use and because kind of everyone was using it, I didn't see that there was any sort of problem. But years ago, when Robinhood took away the buy button, I knew that I had to transfer all of my shares outside of Robinhood, and I did so immediately. Now again, whatever brokerages you guys want to use, please do your own due diligence and pick wisely. But be careful. In my opinion, not all brokerages are created equal. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC Stock DD and information you need.